Question seven for 5,000 points. The six faces of an A by B by C block of unit cubes are painted. Uh, Ankin? B. B6810? Yeah, it is right. Yeah, gosh is right, Kelly. You're right. You're exactly right. Uh, so, Ankin, uh, fill us in on the gosh. All right, so the trick to this is to um, count the number of cubes that don't have any paint because you know those have to be like in the middle and not on the outside. So then, if, when it's A by B by C, um, the middle, the inside of the cube uh, block will also be a smaller block, and the side of it will be like A minus two, B minus two, and C minus two. And then, so you want two fifths of the cubes to not have any paint. So then, you can just try the ones and see which one works. And and it, 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 did you start with E that time? Yeah. You did. <laughs> and it didn't work. <laughs> oh no, I started with E. Sorry, oh, you, it's a P. And why? And why did you start with? Or did you go from A to B, or did you start with B? Uh, I started with B because um, I don't know why they were like even numbers and they differed by twos. Ah. Oh, it was all of them differ by twos. Never mind. I don't know why I started with B. It just happened to be lucky that you notice those differ by two. Yes, and so that's crucial that they differ by two. That makes when you have you might set up a fraction and you're right, it's the ones like you might have n minus two or whatever you want to call it, and then you have a lot of canceling, and, and so you get that. All right, so very good, Ankin. And now we'll see what extremely good. Uh, we'll see what the score is. Hankin has 12,000 points, uh, Karthik has 2,000 points, and Kelly has zero points. And so Hankin, you know, it looks pretty good for you right now. <laughs> but there's a special Seattle rule where the last question is worth 11,000 points. No, I know. <laughs> it's worth, it's worth 5,000 just like the last one. So we'll, here it is, uh, question eight. Will let A, B, C, and D be positive integers with A over B less than C over D, both of them less than one? Arrange the following numbers, the ones in red, in increasing order. So uh, do you see the numbers B over A, D over C, B, D over A, C, A, D over B, C, and B plus D over A plus C. And then I won't read the choices. Uh, <laughs> Distracted, but <laughs> they clap for that, yeah. Uh, and so that, Ankin? Uh, D. D. D is in dog. D is in dog? Yep. D is in right. Uh, okay, very good. Nice going, Ankin. Very, very, very good. Uh, and so how did you get D? Okay, so um, you want you want to get B, and so I started with B over D and D over C. So if we take the reciprocals, you see that um, B over A is bigger than D over C, which is bigger than one. Right. And then the B, B D over AC is just um, you're multiplying two numbers that are both bigger than one, so it's going to be bigger than both of the first two. And then A D over B C is going to be smaller than one. And then B plus D over A plus C is going to be between B over A and D over C. Right, it has to fit in yeah. between them. That's right. And so and so then that leads you to D. Yep. Right. All right. So I can. This was so I should I, I was going to remind you to be ahead, but I'm going to remind you not to remind the award ceremony. And so I think Ankin is going to be taking home some hardware uh, and, and 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 maybe uh, bolts and screws to go with it. But uh, so Ankin, congratulations, that was very good. So stay here for the award ceremony. I'll come congratulate all of you.